Hi Dixons, I'm Pete Gower, Senior Data Manager here at Dixons. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't done so already, do subscribe to our channel. Use the like button and comment below to tell us which episodes have been most useful for you and what you would like to see on the channel next. This video is part two of a five video mini series and will provide a brief overview of our approach to assessment and how we use this information to shape student learning. If you haven't watched part one already, please do before watching this video. Part one covered our broad assessment principles. Part two covers how we use percentile rank. Part three, how we report to parents. Part four, how we use progress measures. And part five, how the information from summative assessments is used in the classroom. When recording data from assessments, staff simply record and report raw scores. We don't want teachers making a holistic judgment on a student's performance. We see our summative assessments as high stakes and providing teachers and leaders with a snapshot at a moment in time of a student's performance. The submission of raw marks means our data is clear fact and free from judgment. Consequently, it is as accurate as it can be across a single academy and our trust. At leadership level, we use percentile rank as our means of approximating where a student resides along the trust distribution. This ranking can be used to track a student's position on the distribution over time and whether it diverges between subjects. We recognise using grades would be an imperfect and false way of describing a student's performance. This could consequently lead to false assumptions being made and possibly become detrimental to a student's development. Previously we have used a system of age independent grading. This tells you the grade a student would achieve in a national assessment if they took it at that point. Telling a year 12 student they are a grade C under an age independent model would mean that sitting an A level on that day would potentially lead them to achieving a grade C. However, with our system, we use the percentile rank to inform students of where they sit in relation to their peers. We can then use this data to see if a student is developing in line with their peers or is making large gains. What it does not tell us is what grade a student is currently working at. However, before a student sits a nationally referenced assessment, any assertion that X percent is equivalent to Y grade is entirely erroneous. The percentile ranking generated from summative assessments is fundamentally about prioritisation and is used to inform leaders' decisions around where to invest resources. Class teachers also use the ranking data to support their intervention planning, which is focused on critical knowledge gaps and misconceptions. Once students start to sit global assessments, usually at the end of year 5, year 10 and year 12, we shift to age independent grades, which provide a more accurate indication of a student's likely performance in their final key stage exams. Whilst this process is new this year and under constant review, we believe our system to provide clear, unambiguous data to our leaders, benchmarked against a cohort of over 1,000 students will mean interventions can be carefully targeted at students who need it the most. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and share. I hope you're looking forward to seeing part three.